All right, guys, check it out. You guys wanted to see some curtain bangs. I dropped a video a while back that was a time lapse, but today I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to do these curtain bangs. So we're just gonna trim it all over, get it off the ears here so it can be worn back behind the ear a little bit better, still leave us some curtain bangs and kind of trim it all over. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm starting off, I wanna find his growth pattern here. So obviously this hair has been all worn back. I'm gonna kind of shake it out. I'm gonna start to work it away from the crown. You guys can see it, just kind of show me where the crown is. So now I'm gonna comb it out from there before we section it off. And we'll section the top out of the way and get started on the sides. All right, guys, so we're gonna go from the center of the crown. I'm gonna pull my comb this way up to the corner. I'm just gonna separate that. So you see we can comb this down. And we'll do the same thing on the crown from this side to the other side. Go ahead and clip the top up out of the way. You guys can see we got a little bit of a line of hair here that is fighting. So I'm gonna kind of bring that in until it's not fighting against it. Now you can see that's laying a lot better. Same thing on the other side, guys. Crown to the recession, comb it down. If there's anything fighting it, we will add to that. But you guys can see we got it working the way that it wants to go over here. So now I'll come around this way. Just kind of look up here as I comb it and just kind of pay attention. I can see like we got about a, about a half an inch that wants to go to the side. So I'll just resection that, drop it down. Now we can clip this up and start on the sides. All right, guys, so I sectioned from his ear straight down to the ear. We're basically gonna to treat the back a little bit differently than the sides. We're gonna start with this panel right here, cut it, cut our guide in, then we'll move on to the back. I'm gonna take this first section, pull it down to the parietal ridge, bring it straight out. I'm not gonna cut it too short because we do wanna connect it into the rest. I just wanna cut my guide in here, then we're gonna cut this link on this section, and then we will tie it into the back and uh, do the back a little bit longer. We're gonna just get it tighter around the ears, and that way we can leave those curtain banks to overhang, so. All right, so same thing over here, guys. We'll pull it straight out from the parietal ridge, cut about, cut about two inches off on this front panel. I just wanted to clean it up underneath so that we don't have all this bulk laying in front of the ears. So I'm actually gonna take that shorter. Now that I've seen it laying, it's a little too high. So I'm gonna go in and take about another three quarters of an inch off. We'll have to do that on the other side as well and then we'll move on to the back, connect all this together. We'll do it a little bit longer in the back. So we're gonna take off about an inch and a half there, straight across. Guys, we're not gonna round to the head shape. We're gonna go straight across. I'll take this hair from this corner, pull it out to that same line, and then I'll show you guys how we're gonna connect that in to the sides. Now we did that side, we can work it over this way. So same thing, pulling it out square to the back, straight across, and we got our guide in the back. Now all we have left to do is to go from this guide here to this guide here. So we're gonna pull this section straight out to the side. You can see a short guide here. And we'll go from here to here. We're just gonna cut that in. So again, guys, we're pulling it all the way here. We can see it's starting to fall out. We'll just direct our fingers from the short part out to the long part and cut it straight up towards our initial guide that we did for the sides. All right, guys, so now we're just gonna do diagonals. This is gonna be our guide, so I wanna start about here. Diagonal back to the ear, comb that forward, and as we pull that out, we're gonna have a guide at the top. So I'm just gonna get a hold of it, pull it out. My guide's up here at the top. Cut it straight down. And we're gonna clip her the very bottom, so I'm not too worried about getting every single hair down here. Just wanna make sure we work it back towards the ear. So next panel, pull it out, guide at the top. I might turn him and see if you guys can see that a little better. Just follow that all the way down to the ear. And you guys see we got two panels cut in. Like I said, this hair down here we're gonna cut off with a clipper, so not a big deal. Continue to work back. These short hairs at the top are gonna spring out because they're pretty short, so I'm not worried about that. Just wanna make sure I get this long hair, pull that section out, see if I can turn where you guys can see it better. You guys can see the guide at the top. All the hair sticking out, cut it straight down, add the next little panel to it. You guys can see what we've already cut, cut it straight down. So we'll work our way straight back towards the back. We're not going to cut the whole back this way. We're going to stop after about one more panel. And as we get here, guys, I'm not going to round into the bottom. I'm going to take it just like that so we can connect into that back. So again, pull it straight out, guide it at the top, grab the next one. This is where I said we're not going to round in. We're going to just take it straight down. So here's our guide. And you can see we're gonna get further away from the back of the head as we get down to the bottom. So we'll just follow that straight down. All right, next section, pull it out. There's the guide at the top. Same thing, we're gonna take it straight down and kind of pivot out at the bottom. We're not really pivoting out. We're just following that same line without rounding into the head shape. So once we get, probably stop after this panel and then we will do the rest from the back. We'll go ahead and do the same thing we just did on the other side and then we'll move on to the back.
right, guys, moving on to the back, we're just gonna take vertical sections. You can see the guide right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of a section, pull it straight out, and from the guide that we cut, that's where we're gonna take it down. So we have a guide down here. Make sure it connects, go underneath it. You guys can see the short piece in the middle, straight down. So that's gonna leave us, just like we just connected on the sides, that's gonna leave our longest length at the bottom. So I pull it out, there's our guide, straight down. And our longest part will be at the bottom because we're pulling it all the way out from, all the way in here on his neck. So go right next to that, another section, straight out. And we're really only cutting underneath the guide that we cut. We do want a little bit of heaviness there. A little bit difficult for you guys if you haven't dealt with a lot of hair. It is it is a little different. So just uh, just take your time, resection if you need to, re-grab it if you need to. So you get exactly the hair that you want to grab. Once you get it out, cut it. Move a little bit to the left, another section. Straight down again. You guys just work it from one side to the next. Once we get done with this, going all the way to the left, we will work over to the right and then we will move on to the top. Guys, we're just gonna clean up this bottom. We probably didn't touch all of this. When we were doing our vertical sections, it's kind of hard to get to. So just wanna kind of look at the consistency that we have. It's actually pretty even. Just gonna come in and kind of point cut the very bottom, even it up to make sure in this finished style that we have a nice, consistent, flipped out length here at the bottom. So you can definitely see over here on the corners, it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna slightly round in just so it's not so long back here and kind of looks out of place. So we're just shaping this up, just like if you were rounding somebody's neck with your trimmers. We're just kind of making sure that this bottom flow all flows together and connects. Now we'll come this way, do the same thing. So you guys can see like when we come here, we have a long bit right there in the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of take that off and round into the length on the bottom. So we get a nice consistent length all the way around here. You guys see everything is tied in to the back. Now we can move on to the top. Show you guys how to cut those curtains. All right guys, so moving on to the top, we're gonna go ahead and split it down the middle. Kind of looking for a natural split. It's not really showing me anything too crazy. So I'm just gonna take it down the middle. So I just pull my comb back, my fingers on the head. You see when I pop that off, it splits. Go ahead and take all that that way. Take all this to the other side. What we're gonna do guys, we're gonna connect it in the back like a normal, you know, scissor cut. If you guys watch my channel, we do this a lot. We connect in the back, we're gonna pivot out or whatever to leave our longest parts here so we still have this kind of curtain bangs look. You guys can already see with it short underneath, it's gonna sit super nice. So we can do a little loose style with it, but it's kind of cleaned up and you don't have as much hair as you came in with. So, all right guys, so the first thing we're looking at, look down a little bit for me. This first hair, you can already see, we got some length down here that's not connecting in. So I'm gonna elevate it straight towards my chest. I can see the guy underneath and we're just connecting that in so that it won't hang crazy. So with it in my hand, I'm gonna grab the next panel, come to this corner, pull it out. Guides underneath. Take it off. We're gonna keep working around until we get to the ear. I'm gonna leave it connected. Now that we're to the ear, guys, I'm gonna start to pivot out. So here's my straight line. Actually cut a little bit more. We're not quite to the ear yet. Now we're gonna pivot out. So I can see the length here. I can basically see that I'm gonna cut a line like that. Now we can start to pivot. So as I pull it out, I'm just gonna tilt my fingers, cut back towards the line that we were at. Now you guys can really see it. There's our guide. Back to the line. I'll continue to work forward and we have a line to follow. So there it is. Add that last bit from the front. And now our longest piece is at the front. So there's our curtain. We will trim that a little bit as we take it to the top. If you guys wanna work back through, just for precision, just to make sure it's even, you guys can see now it's not 100% smooth. So I'm just gonna work back through one time and then we'll move on to the other side and do the same exact thing. Then we'll clean up the top last but not least. So same as normal, we're gonna connect each point that we just connected on the sides. When we pull this up, it's gonna fall out on both sides. It's gonna come through and point cut it. And this is gonna get way longer as we get to the front because of that pivoting out or that over direction. So we see our short and our short. 
This is why I'm working back to front so I don't take too much off of the front. Just kind of comb that out of the way. And as we move forward, it's going to start to get longer. So just pull up until it falls out on each side. I'm point cutting across just to give it a little bit of, you know, texture and life in this cut. And when we get to the front, we're barely going to be taking any off because it was so long and we're leaving those curtain banks. Just work your way up. We don't really have to connect these vertically so much because there is such a length difference as we work towards the front. So we'll just continue to work our way up. We're getting up there now. You guys will see how long the front is when we get there. We're probably just now getting to that section at the ear. So you can see now we just have a small section here in the middle to take off almost to the front. Now if you really want to accentuate the curtains then you guys will not take off this peak. Uh, we don't want it to be too awful heavy, too crazy looking so we're going to go ahead and take that off. Now I'm on to the last panel. I can pull this straight up and this is really the end of our curtain section. So straight up, short, short, straight across and we're done with the top. All right, so I'm gonna use hair grippers to hold the length out of the way. I'm just gonna clean up this sideburn a little bit. Golly, he's got enough hair. Didn't even hold it out of the way. A little clip and a gripper. So we're just gonna focus on the sideburn. I'm just gonna lighten it up and uh, give him a little taper. Guys, we're gonna start working the blow dryer. I'm just gonna kind of go after it for a little bit. I'm not gonna talk through it because this blow dryer is loud, but we're just gonna start to get it dry, get this flowing back, kind of get this flipping out at the bottom, and then we will kind of just bring these back down in the end and add them to it to kind of get that curtain look.
like it. I do it? Oh yeah. yeah. All right guys, that is it for the video. Do me a favor, smash that thumbs up if you guys like it. Here's the curtain bangs you've been asking for. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this cut. We were just talking, he's gonna do a potentially a shaved head with some color and designs in the summer. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Appreciate you watching guys and I will catch you next time.